Hey guys, it's Way here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete the brand new Rest of the World 19 to 11 Team of the Season player SBC, the cheapest and easiest way. As of right now, the city back around 55,000 coins. However, I expect the price will drop slightly in the next couple of days. And in return, you get yourself a tradable player from the Rest of the World Team of the Season squad, and it's any of the 19 to 11th highest rated players. I believe they're 90 up to 92, and I'll leave a link down below to a tweet by A showing all of those cards if you guys are interested. So, hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you are new on here, make sure you turn on channel notifications as whenever a new SBC is out, I will get the first video most likely on YouTube out. I'm always there at 6pm, two SBCs are there to bring you guys a video on them. So getting on into it, as you guys can see, you need one Team of the Week player, an 84 rating overall and 80 chemistry. So I would recommend following the same formula as me. For that you need one 86 rated player, I've gone with Cramrich and he is my inform. Two 82s, I've gone with Dale of Feu and Suso with my two wingers right here. You then want to get three 83s, I've gone with Santi Cathola, Borja Valero and then Schmeichel. And then the rest of your players, so five other players, all need to be 84s. I'd recommend going with an 86 rated inform. There are lots of cheap options, the likes of Dante. I went with Cramrich, and he's untradeable. And if you guys have untradeable players, definitely do this because you're spending about 55k to get back a player worth around 60 or 65,000 coins. So that's what the majority of these team of the season players sell for. So that's going to be a little bit of profit, but if you trade in untradeable players, in my case, I'm trading in an untradeable Cramrich you get a really good amount of profit from this because the rest of the players in this squad equate to around 30,000 coins or so. So I'm actually going to make about 30k profit from this SPC. Now I'd recommend using plenty of strong links and also plenty of nation links to get the good chemistry overall. You need 80. So I've gone with a predominantly Spanish team, especially in the midfield and attack. And then I've gone with some Arsenal and Premier League players down here. And that's going to get me the 80 chemistry. I've got that bang on as well as the 84 rating. So if you do want to copy me, feel free. I've gone with Schmeichel, Cramrich, or that you can use any other 86 rated inform. Just check on Footbin. There are some good options for a similar price, around 20k or so. I've then got Koscielny, Mustafi, Horn, Valero, Cathola, Parejo, Suso, Adarith, and Delafeu finishing off the team. So we're going to submit this. And it doesn't really matter who you get. Because pretty much all the players go for a similar price. I believe there's about 5k difference between the lowest rated and highest rated players. But you just want to submit it, open the pack, and you'll get yourself some guaranteed coins. So there are some pretty decent players in here. I believe we've got Brahimi, who's got a really nice card. And there are a couple of other players. I mean, there's some really random cards from really obscure nations and leagues. I think there's a possibly an Iranian right winger. Uh, what, this guy, I, this guy's got a sick card. I don't know what his name is. He's one of these random players. I have no idea what nation or what club or even what league that is, but that is a ridiculous card. 95 pace, 93 shooting, 92 dribbling, and good passing and physical as well. That is a really, really good card, and that's what I'm saying. There are some really obscure, random um, players in here. So he plays for Cape Verde, the Santos Laguna in the Liga Bancomer Max, and that is a really, really nice card. He's six foot two as well. I think he's yeah. He's got ninety seven strength. That is a ridiculous card. I think Marshall packed this guy as well and said he might do a player review on him. So I'm probably going to check that out because this guy looks pretty insane. But I'm gonna. I think I'll store him in my club for the moment. That's why I'd recommend you guys doing because right now uh, the players they're going for quite a low price. As loads of people are doing the SBC and listing what they get. I'd recommend keeping the player and the, the, the market will gradually stabilise and these cards will rise up slightly in price and recover and you guys should be able to sell the cards for a little bit of extra profit there. But still, even if I sold this card now, I'd be getting a good amount of coins back, so I'm going to send that straight over to the club. So in conclusion, is this SBC worth it? I would 100% say it is, especially if you're using untradeable players. Any untradeable cards you put in there, you're going to be making even more coins back, because on average, pretty much any player you get, you're going to make a few thousand coins more than what you spend. Um, and if you're using untradeables, that's just going to be even more. So I would definitely recommend this. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And as I said earlier on, make sure you are subscribed because I upload videos whenever new SPCs come out. I try and get them out as early as possible. 6 p.m. I'm there. I'm ready. I get the videos going. Get them edited. Get them out for you guys. So if you're looking for marquee matchups, team of the season SPCs, whatever it is, if you subscribe to the channel, you will get the first notification on how to complete them really, really cheaply. And you'll also obviously see who I get in the pack as well. But anyway, that's enough for that. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you later. Take care.